I ran out of milk, so I, I made this latte with pure creamer. It's disgusting. I love it. Welcome back to Repentance, everybody. Today, we're going to do something that we don't normally do. Amateur porn. No. We're going to talk about something that we really like. That being the modding community. When they're not making mods about foot fetishes. What hots? The title said something about feet. Are you sure there's not going to be any feet in this video? Close. Today, we're looking at Dr. Fetus Synergies. We talk all the time, especially on stream, about really, really cool ideas to integrate into the Binding of Isaac. So it's so cool to see somebody out there doing it and doing it well. Shout out to James B456, who has even more mods in the workshop. Links as always in the description down below. For this, we of course need Dr. Fetus. Looking fine, sir. And our second item, chug of milk. This allows Isaac to charge up a bomb shot and the bomb will deal more damage depending on how long you charge. Look at that little baby. In the original, you cannot charge up the bombs. You only got a reduction of tier delay by 20%. Before we go on, you guys, once again, this is so cool. I might be like a little bit late to the mod review party. <coughs> but when I saw this in the mod workshop, I'm like, I need to show this off. I need to, to build this up. I, I talk too much about this kind of stuff on my stream to not hype James up right now. Next, Synergy, Lump of Coal. Bombs deal more damage the further away they are. It's very straightforward. Well done. GG. Do the bombs need more damage? Mm. But why wouldn't they? Why would they not work with this? Interesting thing here is that it actually depends on the distance from you. So if you walk with your bomb, your bomb is still wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. If you run away from your bomb... Chad bomb. On modded Isaac? Nothing. Overridden. Next up, Compound Fracture. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's a very nice dance. I like this dance. So I'm gonna dance with you. Do you wanna dance? I'm dancing. We're dancing together. Bombs create bone spurs. Yeah, buddy. Love that. Could have gone multiple ways with this one. Could have shot out bone fragments. Could have spit out like maybe tiny little bombs. That would have been messy. This is pretty good. I like this. I like this idea. Unmodded, you keep the range up, but the tier effect is overridden. Next up, fast bombs. You can fire bombs much more quickly. As compared to unmodded, not a huge difference. I suppose the fast bombs, if you had it like soy milk fire rate, that would be a little bit overpowered. Happy to at least see it's not nothing. Next up, one of my favorites, pop. Bombs have much longer delay before exploding and bounce off of each other. All right, it's not that long, but but pretty long. Oh, okay, yeah, they really do bounce off each other, wow. And then they explode on contact with myself. Unmodded? Nothing. Now we're on to Neptunus, which for those of you who don't remember what it does, not shooting builds up a tier bonus over three seconds. Tier bonus decreases as Isaac fires. The synergy is bombs launch a monstro's long style volley of tears in the direction you fire them when they explode. We also look really cool. Okay, okay. I'm gonna kill something with this. Well, not like that. They just keep walking towards the bombs. They yearn for death. Well, you got the idea. Unmodded? Nothing. Oh. Maculate Heart. Health up, 20% damage up, and 20% chance to shoot an additional orbiting spectral tier. A synergy, chance to fire bombs that orbit around you and explode on contact with an enemy. It's a little weird that it's just kind of floating there menacingly. Maybe like keeping the animation of the bomb would make it a little less unnerving? Kind of scrapes along the wall there. We don't carry them between rooms. I get one before they die. There we go. Got them. Looks like they are far enough away from me, except for when they scrape the wall, to not do contact damage to myself. Keep finding secret rooms. Top hat, instant capitalism. No items, boo! Focus outs, you're having too much fun. Unmodded, you only have a chance to fire a tear around yourself. Okay, that I was like doubting it. I was like, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Next up, decap attack. Decap attack being the active where you throw your head on there. What the hell? Decap attack synergy. Your head explodes instead of returning to you when using it. This explosion can't hurt you. Sorry, bud. I like that. And then you just instantly get another one. Sweet. I mean, you have Dr. Fetus, so like, 
Do you really need that? I suppose it's somewhat cool with the fact that it's remote detonated. One super cool feature that I did not mention. There is a discussion board here for synergy suggestions. And it looks to me like James takes a ton of suggestions from the community. So if you have good ideas, log on to this, go there and post them. As you can see, idea by leaf doll, idea by leaf doll, idea by leaf doll, idea by leaf. Okay, we get it, James. You have some special connection with leaf doll. Doesn't even need to be said that unmodded decap attack is nothing there's no difference number nine ocular rift synergy is a chance to fire bombs that spawn rifts when exploding really creative leaf doll the actual synergy here though that's really good come on in water's warm i see a lot of use in being able to put down an ocular rift and pulling enemies away from you. Cause I feel like as a doctor fetus or even epic fetus user, a lot of problem is just getting distance and getting safety away from enemies. Unmodern, it's overridden. Next up, Saturnus. Saturnus, of course, being the item that causes seven tears to orbit Isaac at all times. Now the seven bombs. Let's see it. Yep, works great. Unmodded. They're just normal, boring tears. Number 11. Number 11? Mom's knife. When the knife gets far enough away from the player, a bomb is attached to the knife. If the knife hits an enemy, the attached bomb explodes. The bomb detaches when the knife reaches its peak. Hmm. Okay, you can still hurt yourself. You can still hurt yourself. But this is kind of cool. If you want to charge up your knife, then this is uh, a good one for you. Ow. Kind of weird how it goes over obstacles. <laughs> it's just like, doesn't want to. It's like, ugh. very cool synergy. I like that. Unmodded Isaac. Nothing. This one will be interesting. Tear detonator. All bombs transform into eight smaller bombs. Oh, God. Not sure how one would uh, feasibly use that. Maybe like that. Maybe like that. That would work. Very dangerous, though. Incredibly dangerous. Unmodded Isaac. Nothing happens. What the hell? Why are you golden right now? You're still golden. Bombs go through walls and warp to the other side of the room. Off the room? Other side, off the room. When hitting a room edge, bombs can't explode when traveling through a wall. Wonderful. <laughs> so when it's like slowly crawling through the wall, it waits. Like a patient little bomb. Unmodded. Nothing. Next up, rubber cement. Bombs bounce off grid entities with much more force than normal. Whoa. Okay, not enemies. Grid entities. Still stopped on enemies. Important to note. So just don't miss. <laughs> like that. Unmodded. No change. Next up, anti-gravity. These are getting spicy. The synergy is bombs don't move until the fire button is released. So they sit there. Once you let go, then they're fired off. But if you sit there and hold it too long, bad news bears for you. I think it would be kind of cool if they didn't actually start ticking down until you let go. So you could actually pile up like four or five, seven billion bombs in front of you and then uh, launch them all. That's my suggestion because as it stands, that's kind of crap. It features everything that is wrong about anti-grav. Taking a look at unmodded Isaac. No synergy. Next up, one of our favorites, Godhead. Let's actually take a look at unmodded first to see what happens. Bombs gain the homing effect. You get the stats, but they do not have an aura around them. Synergy with modded. Bombs have an aura that does two damage constantly to nearby enemies. Very sensible change. And once again, how much damage that the bombs actually do, I don't think that adding the aura is inherently overpowered. Besides for maybe with boss fights. Considering the bomb will pretty much one-shot every enemy, not every boss. Gurglings. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Number 17, technology. Fires a constant laser between the bomb and the player. Seems reasonable. I like that. Once again, could be kind of overpowered, but to get an enemy locked in between the bomb and your body could be difficult. This might be the answer though to those annoying spiders that get just a little bit too close. Unmodded, nothing. Unless of course you have sad bombs. Wait, really? Not even sad bombs works with tech? It's luck based. It's luck based. 
I'm not an idiot. 11% chance to proc at zero luck. Next up, Hemoptysis. This item, of course, being the double tap sneeze. The synergy here is it applies brimstone curse to enemies that survive the explosion. So the same curse for sneezing on them is applied if they live through the explosion. I mean, they're not going to live through the explosion, but you can kind of see right before they die. Once again, more applicable to large enemies, enemies with damage scaling or bosses. It's small, but why not? Why not include it? I really don't like items that literally turn other items worthless. Even if it's just there as a symbolic gesture to say, I know you have this item and I want you to feel like that matters. That's good. That is good stuff. Unmodded. That's just not the case. Next up, Terra. Terra being the planetarium item that gives you a damage up and replaces your tears with rock. The synergy here. Bombs create a circular shockwave when exploding. Excited about this one. Check that out. It does not hurt you. That is powerful. Unmodded? A whole lot of nothing. Trisigon is up next. Bombs fire out Trisigon tears. Yep. That's super cool. It kind of makes it maybe a little bit too similar to sad bombs. Obviously, it's really powerful. And if I had this synergy, I would be stoked. But what happens if we give ourselves sad bombs on top of this? Okay, so now see, we've kind of made our own situation where now the synergy between sad bombs and Dr. Fetus doesn't mean a whole lot. Once again, the synergy is great, but creatively, I'd like to see it a little bit more unique than sad bombs itself. Unmodded, completely overridden. Next up, lost contacts, shielded tears. Bombs explode nearby projectiles. So bombs have a blocking power. Pretty useful uh, if you're overwhelmed, especially in something like the Hush fight. Mom's heart, Mega Satan, Delirium, all of these things. I see uh, this synergy being really, really helpful. Unmodded Isaac, no effect. Last but not least, Brimstone. Bombs fire out brimstone lasers in a cross pattern like brimstone bombs. Looking excellent as usual. Very cool. Very cool synergy. Worth having, obviously. Besides the fact that you blow your own bombs back at you. So you wouldn't want to just sit there and continually fire brimstone bombs. Get yourself in trouble real quick. Once again, I think creatively, it kind of steps on sad bombs toes a little bit. Obviously, there's a different effect when you actually get sad bombs to proc. Creatively also clashes with brimstone bombs, which gives you a double brimstone effect. In the original, it is completely overridden unless you have sad bombs as well. So like with some of the other synergies, I think that it is amazing, but I'd like to see a spin on it that differentiates it from sad bombs and brimstone bombs. Let me know your guys' thoughts on any and all of these synergies. Feel free to leave those thoughts in the comment section down below feel free to go to the mod page itself to the Synergy Suggestions page where you can compete with Leaf Doll on all their other ideas. Once again, super excited about mod creators that are out there absolutely killing it. Thank you, James. It's been a pleasure to check out this mod. I will be including this mod in my modded runs if you guys want to stop by on Twitch to watch that. Also, also, one more thing before you go. I alluded to being late to the game when it came to this mod showcase. Don't forget that there are other creators that are covering this fantastic content on YouTube right now. One of them, of course, being Slay. Go check Slay out if you want more stuff like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, James, for making this mod. And I will see you in the next one. See you guys.